today we're going to do some uh, some stuff with Dutch ovens. Um, we, we plan on doing a series of films over the next few months showing you how to cook with Dutch ovens, how to care for Dutch ovens, certain recipes um, and, and just some of the, the, uh, the bits and pieces that you can get. So today we thought we'd show you the, the kit that we're going to be using. Um, we, we have the, uh, the box Dutch, uh, Dutch oven set supplied to us by Ronnie Sunshines and he's also supplied us a couple of other larger Dutch ovens and a tripod. So we're going to go through those bits and pieces today and show you what we've got and what you can do with it. This is the, uh, the Dutch oven box set that was kindly donated to us by Ronnie Sunshines. Um, this is a great way to buy your Dutch ovens and a, gr a great way to start. It comes in this fantastic sturdy box, uh, western style with rope handles, nice brass hinges, fits in there lovely. Plenty of room for uh, cooking utensils, other things, other bits and pieces if you want to throw them in there. Um, and the other thing that is a great advantage of this is of course you've then got either a seat or a working surface. So once you've got everything unpacked, you've got a nice flat surface to prepare your food or just to sit on around the campfire. So it's a, it's a lovely addition that you only get in the box set that you won't get if you buy the pieces individually. These are the components that you get in with the, uh, the box set. As you can see, it makes quite a sturdy seat. Um, we'll start with the, the four litre Dutch oven. All the cast iron components, incidentally, are all pre-seasoned, so you don't have to go through all the rigmarole of, of seasoning your, your, your Dutch ovens and your cast iron stuff in, in an oven. Um, although we will show you how to do that in a later film. Um, but, like I say, to start with, we've got the 4 litre Dutch oven. Um, quite a heavy piece of gear, but very sturdily made. It comes with... Uh, Tripod legs, three little legs there, which, which help keep it stable at all times. Nice sturdy handle with a notch in the top, so it's dead easy to hang from, uh, from a tripod or a chain or something like that. Uh, stops it sliding around the handle. And of course the uh, essential lid. Now the beauty of Dutch ovens is they have this rim that runs all the way around the top of the lid. The purpose of this is so that you can pile hot coals on top of your oven giving it all round heat and um, without them slipping off, it keeps it nice and contained. Um, so that's an excellent feature and something that makes a Dutch oven a Dutch oven. Along with that we also have uh, the skillet and the griddle. Now the skillet, as you would expect, is, is a nice heavy sturdy piece of gear, probably about two and a half, three inches in depth. You've got a pouring lip at either side, solid cast iron handle, great piece of gear. And of course your griddle. Now, this is fantastic for those great big lumps of meat in the woods. You get your little griddle lines going in your meat as well. Drainage for the fat, fantastic. And of course, you can flip it over. You've got a fat deposit tray down the side here, so that your fat runs off, but it's ideal for doing like your fried eggs and your bacon, that sort of thing. Again, very, very even distribution of heat. Very easy to keep clean. The last things that you get with the set are two... Very simple, but very, very, very good piece of equipment. First of all, you get a collapsible trivet. Now, if you cook with Dutch ovens at all, you'll know one of the biggest problems is keeping your lids clean. As soon as you take the lid off the oven, be it boiling water or your soup or your, or your stew, whatever you're cooking, what do you do with the lid? Well, your only choice really is to put it on the ground, in which case you're going to get covered in muck and pine needles and leaves, all the other stuff that you, you get in the, in the forest. However, with something as simple as the trivet, you keep your lid clean, you keep your food clean, it's a great idea. Not only that, you can use it for your hot pans to keep them off the ground, it's great. And of course, very easily folds down, fits inside your box. The last piece of equipment is a lid lifter. As we said before, very even distribution of heat in the Dutch oven, so of course the pan and the pan lid get very, very, very hot, uh, especially if you've been piling the hot coals on the top. So, simple device, lid lifter, problem solved. And of course it fits all the Dutch ovens in the entire range, so that's an invaluable piece of gear, and again, comes with a box set, so you've got everything you need. In addition to the box set, there's a few other accessories that you can get to, uh, to complete your Dutch oven experience. Um, especially if you're talking about larger groups, things like that. The Dutch ovens come in a variety of, of sizes. 
We've got the four four liter one that we that we had with the box set earlier, just to give you a comparison. But we've also got here a six liter and an eight liter, and they also do a twelve liter version as well, which is absolutely huge. The uh, the six liter um, is supposed to feed around eleven people or so, and the uh, the eight liter is is for fourteen. So if you've got a large group, that's the way to go. Um, as ever, they come pre-seasoned, very sturdy pieces of gear. Another addition, which you'll see us use a lot of in our cooking videos and, and other such things, is a tripod. Um, it comes with a chain, a couple of hooks, so you've got a very, very adjustable height on it, and it's a very sturdy piece of kit. It's um, inevitable that if you're cooking on a campfire, sooner or later, if you've got your pans on the fire, a fire's going to collapse, spilling your dinner everywhere. There's not many of us that haven't experienced it when you've just cooked directly on a fire. Well, a tripod obviously solves that problem. By suspending your pan above the fire, not only do you have control over the amount of heat going up to your pan, but you're also not going to lose your dinner. It doesn't matter what happens to the fire, because you're suspending it from the top, it'll never go, to, never go wrong. So that's some of the great accessories that you can get along with the, uh, the box set for the Dutch ovens. Okay, we've been using Dutch ovens now for a few months um, as, as a test. I mean, we've, we've used them for a long, long time anyway for, to do our cooking, but this set in particular offers great value. If you want to start out or start your adventure into Dutch oven cooking, then the box set is certainly a great way to go. It's brilliant value compared to buying the pieces individually. You get everything you need for up to sort of seven, eight people, and it comes in a lovely box, really great way to keep them. As a whole, Dutch ovens, we, we love them. Um, they're, they're, they distribute heat much better than the aluminium pans. They're much, much easier to keep clean than aluminium. Uh, and they're certainly easier to scrub off all that burnt in food that you get with so readily with aluminium. In fact, that's very rarely actually an issue with Dutch ovens because they distribute the heat so, so well. Um, the, the main issue that there is with Dutch ovens is their weight. They're not something you're gonna stick in a backpack. They're definitely something for the more permanent camp, but they're great, what can I say? Brilliant piece of gear.